Okay, so we're back with our skill builder, our second zoom in to somebody with a problem, and this time it is Alex Porter. And yeah, you may remember the first one we did was Jeff Porter. This is his brother, and he decided that Jeff's not going to hog the limelight. Now, Alex, you have got a lot to live up to because Jeff not only called in, but he gave us loads of lovely footage of the problem from different angles. Apparently, you've got a problem with some joists. Basically, we've been redecorating our hallway, and uh, when the plasterer was skimming, the ceiling he noticed there was a nail coming through whenever someone went into the bathroom which obviously I've never been in the bathroom and below the bathroom at the same time no. so I've never seen it I was changing a light fitting and was like well I need to obviously have a, a closer inspection on this and so I pulled up part of the floorboards in the bathroom uh, and it looks like I've got a wobbly joist so oh. um, it kind of bounces up and down um by four or five mil and that uh, was making this nail protrude through the the ceiling below yeah. plasterers hate that because they catch them on the edge of their trowel <laughs> the floor balls up someone had already cut a hole into the floor um yeah. when they've done some electrical work yeah. down there previously the electrician um, that's what electricians do It'd be better off with woodworm in your house than an electrician. Blimey, what's that? Is that a dead mouse? No. Nah, it's not a mouse. Can you make that joist move? Oh, yeah. I can see that. No wonder it's pushing that nail through. It looks to me like the ceiling has become detached from the joist as well underneath. Is that a, is that a gap under there? There is a gap. Is oh, I know what that is, yeah. It's quite interesting, actually, because what happens there is that they've notched the joists out to go into the steel beam, what we call the web, and they just notch the bottom of the joist out so that the joist actually comes flush with the steel beam, so it sits level with it. So when they put the plasterboard over, the plasterboard goes from one joist to the joist maybe the other side, and it, it sails past the, the steel beam at the same level. But what you've got is a joist which appears to be up in the air slightly so that it's not actually making contact with the plasterboard at that point. I was thinking that it was a question of putting a shim underneath that joist to prop it up to stop it wobbling. But I think actually what you need to do is you need to push it down from the top. You need to actually get some kind of wedge in the top because at the moment it's floating. And it's probably floating because the, the floorboards, are they floorboards or are they chipboard what have you got floorboards. there? They're floorboards. Okay. So it's probably the floorboards which are holding that joist up to a certain extent. What I would be tempted to do is get somebody very heavy, then get them to stand on the joist. Can you feel on top of that joist, is it resting in the web of the beam on the top edge of it? There's a gap above the steel beam. That steel beam, that hasn't got a web, has it? That is actually just an L section of steel, isn't it, that is sitting on there? The easiest thing you can do here is to try and get something underneath that joist end where it sits on that steel. There's a gap there at the moment, and every time you tread on it, you're, you're pushing it down. So if you can get something like a, a bit of steel plate or even a hardwood wedge, I wouldn't use a soft one because they tend to get crushed a little bit. Just tap it into that, that along that steel beam, so it sits under that joist and, and, and wedges it in place. You can then pour a bit of PVA on it or something like that just to fix it in position. Just It probably won't move anyway. Once it's in there, it'll probably stay stay tight. Did you say you'd had that ceiling replastered? Skimmed. You had it because skimmed. the previous owners had a water leak. Uh, the ceiling was, well, not flat. It was a bit no. wobbly in places. Okay, well, if it's just been skimmed, you don't really want to touch it. Put that prop in there first and make sure that the, the joist isn't moving get someone to look at it or leave your camera running under there and make sure that you've you've scotched that joist up so that you've taken the movement out of it then get a vacuum cleaner and try to vacuum out all the rubbish that's under that that joist you know the between the plasterboard and the joist there's a bit of a gap if you can get a vacuum cleaner in there just suck all that out so that it's nice and clean and then you can just get a bit of foam and squirt that in along under the, that joist and that will basically reconnect that 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 plasterboard with the joist 
but it won't do it in such a way that it's going to crack your ceiling because if you start driving screws through your ceiling now, having just had it plastered, that won't do it any good. But you can fix it from the top edge just by squirting a bit of foam. You can put a, spray a little bit of water in there first if you want to because that makes the foam go off faster because it, it cures on, on contact with moisture even in the air. So put a bit of spray water in there, then squirt the foam in there and then it will firm the whole thing up. I mean, the ceiling is connected and the joist isn't moving. So it's it's a fairly easy job to do, really. I mean, uh, you know, it should take you, you know, half an hour or so and you'll be you'll be there. And I think that will solve the problem, yeah. I've got some little shell brackets yeah. that are only like one and a half mil thick. Right. So, so thinking, the, yeah, do they go under or not? Well, I've literally just got them, so I haven't had a oh, okay. chance to have a right. play yet. Well, do you want to have a go? See, see yeah. what happens? Nice. I'll try and take all my weight off of this joist. Tricky, isn't it? Here we go. We'll never get this out. Go on. <laughs> it's a silent hammer. Right. Ah. You, you, you bounce up and down on it. We'll have a look at it. If you can just put the camera back there, it'd be wonderful. This is great, isn't it? I love this. Yeah. It's... I'm never going to make a house call again. <laughs> but a lot of people would probably be very pleased with that, actually. See if it moves at all. Doesn't look like there's any movement there at all. Oh, there's a bit, mate. There's still a bit. Can you get that bracket out again or not? Or is it in there forever? No, I, I can get that out. It can prize it out. What Prove about it. putting what about putting two brackets in there? One yeah. one inside the other. Because it looks to me like there's a little bit of movement left there. And although that's not too bad, it would be great if tight. It's tight on that other end, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the trouble is with with the oh, actually it's a bit of channel so you probably won't have quite the same thing but very often on a steel beam they're tapered slightly actually you probably could have just tapped the other one in underneath it but but let's try oh. let's try can let's you do try it? put another one underneath it uh, yes yeah, so you got it you're you're in you're in like Flynn lovely give that a tap oh I love this so entertaining. <laughs> it I mean, it's also got that element of, of peril and is he going to do Jeopardy. it? Jeopardy. This is what all the TV stations are after. Will he manage it, won't he? That is a lovely, shiny-looking hammer. It hasn't seen much action, has it? Hammer for Christmas. Ah, there oh, we go. Oh, you got a hammer for Christmas. Oh, that must be great. When you wake up Christmas morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at that he's smashing it now <laughs> it keeps knocking the camera it's difficult yeah, isn't well, it you know, it's hard yeah there's not a lot of room just have another jump up and down then his framing is much better than yours Rog go f*** yourself <laughs> <laughs> I can't see any movement on that Unless my pictures are just frozen. It's good, isn't it? That's lovely. If you don't want to use that phone, by the way, the other thing you can do is you can get yourself some polyurethane expanding adhesive and just put that in there instead because basically it's the same stuff. The polyurethane adhesive is in a, a squirty tube tub and the foam is obviously in a you know a can which has got an aerosol inside it. But either one of them would do the job. It's just a question of which one you feel you could get in there. The only thing about having a foam gun is once you've got a foam gun, you've got it and you find all kinds of jobs for it. So it's quite nice having one. I can get one tomorrow. You're there, mate. You're home and dry. But let's have a look at your hammer. Come on, let's see your hammer. Is it an S-wing? Oh, that's quite <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's quite Not nice. Not very often one. people ask to look at my hammer. Well, there you go. You know, that, that, it's just that I, I did have a one that look, people said look, it looks like it came out of a a Christmas cracker. So, um, you know, there's a bit of hammer envy in the world, I find. You know, when Robin's doing stuff, people are always looking at his hammer. Robin's hammer is so long that it's almost longer than his legs, but it, it hangs down, you know, like a, a gunslinger, you know. They love the He's talking about one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's hanging down between his legs. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ro yeah. Robin's probably got his own branded hammer now, hasn't he? I see he's got a lot oh, of his would, stuff yeah. over there. I'll see, yeah, he will have it. available on Amazon. Anyway, that's good. We're there. We're, we're, we're doing well. So that's two stars in the family, isn't it? You got anybody else who can do Ask Girl Bit of Videos with us? Anybody else in the family up for it? I think my two-and-a-half-year-old might uh, might need a little bit of work. Yeah. Um, 
with uh, acting skills to get her on the camera. But uh, my brother-in-law is a window fitter. He uh, he might need some help in the future because uh, okay. we're going to be doing uh, a garage conversion in our house, converting that to um, the new office because we have another little one on the way. Was that a lockdown? The result of it lockdown, was a lockdown was baby. So. People even get a dog or a baby, and so you know, you get, <laughs> <laughs> some people yeah. have both. Uh, yeah. Well, look, if your your brother brother in law, you said didn't you? Your brother in law, if he's a window fitter, he's got one of those foam guns. Someone's at the door, Bella. Who is it? He's going, he's Let's going. have a look. Have a look. Who is it? Is anyone there? Oh, what's that? Oh. Right. Thank you very much, skill builder. And see you guys soon. If anyone else wants to get in touch with us through Zoom or Skype or whatever, then the link is in the description and we'll see you for the next one. Oh, that'd be fantastic, won't it? I love if we can carry on solving problems like this at the end of the phone, then the world is our oyster. We don't care where you come from. You can come from America. You can come from Australia, anywhere, any country you like. <laughs>